All right, guys, welcome to the start of episode two of our walkthrough on the Holiday Tour 2021 for Mario Kart Tour. And yeah, we're back here. Uh, it is the 3rd of December. It's uh, Friday today. And of course, episode two, we're starting off here right now. And we're going to be playing a total of four cups uh, for this episode, uh, at, uh, you know, in the span of the next uh, four days or so. But yeah, let's just jump into the today's challenge for today, day three of the tour, and it's going to be with Peach Winter Time on SNES Vanilla Lake 2 in the Mario Cup. And the game also gave me the this is the Ice Snow Skimmer as well as the Glitter Glider. So let's go, Peach Winter Time right here that I am going to be using for this today's challenge or quick play here today. And if you guys don't know yet, uh, Peach Winter Time is also now a what you call it a regular in the pipes, which means that you can get her like when you, you know when you open the pipes, you may have a chance on getting her, you know, just like maybe like Metal Mario or something. Oh, I did not see that bomb. But anyways, uh, she's not the only one that is now a new regular in the pipes. There's also a, a four more uh, items. I would say items, even though they're not really items, but. Uh, it's a combination of, uh, you know, carts and gliders. Oh no, I'm gonna get wrecked by Waluigi. Okay, thank god. Okay, so first place finish with a total score of 10,441 points. And yeah, there we go. Now now it's not coming because I did uh, l lose it. Uh, just as I entered uh, lap 2. But it's okay, we're still gonna get that first place finish. 6,600.5 stars, 81, it's not 81, 18 coins and 5 tokens. Well, 81 coins. But let's open up the TCP for day 3 here today and it's going to be... Larry! That's a free level up for him. 18 of 20 level 6, just 2 more level ups to go for him to go to level 7. Alright, so yeah, as I was saying in the race earlier, there are actually a total of four items, if I'm not mistaken, that has now been promoted to regulars in the pipes. I will be uh, showing a graphic on the screen right now, you guys can see what are those new items that are now in the pipes as regulars. And I will also attach another graphic where you can see the overall items that are in the regular pipes that you can get it through. So yeah, these are actually the compilation of all regular high ends in the pipes. So you can definitely get any of these in the pipes. Of course, they are not spotlights. You can actually get them randomly like you have been getting maybe like Metal Mario or Pink Gold Peach in the past. But yeah, that's about it for that part. Let's move on into Choco Island 1RT. Ooh, interesting. Uh, I'm gonna go with, of course, Mario level 7. Why not, right? We're also gonna go with the uh, Bruiser as well as uh, no top shelf uh, glider unfortunately so we are just gonna go with the the gift glider I think it's the name of the glider it's been a while since I've uh, used this glider I mean it's, it's, it's still level 1 for me right as you guys saw but let's see yeah the gift glider okay I actually guessed that correctly and this course is actually uh, still relatively new I would say I mean it just got released like a few tours ago not really recently, I mean like maybe like roughly two months ago or so. Not that recent. But it's still relatively new. I mean the variant of course, not the not the course. The course has been like over a year now. Ooh, that banana almost I almost got hit by that. That that rat shell's gonna find Bowser. Oh and again the ultra mini turbo right there, which is nice. I kinda drifted the wrong way there a little bit. But we still have our combo up and running, which is nice. Always nice to see combo that's still up and running. Oh, of course, the red shell comes after the box. I need to take it right here. Ooh, at least I got Bowser, and we're gonna salvage that second place instead of the third that we were in. So, okay, I'll take second place, 13,508 points. And let's see what's the re requirement for 5 stars because that's the only thing we're going through for now. Yeah, 9,300 points for 5 stars so we definitely passed that. 18 coins, 2 tokens. And yeah, this is the Mario Cup as well by the way, the 5th cup of the tour right here overall. And now let's move on to Choco Mountain R. We have quite a number of high ends, not high ends, I mean top shelves. Uh, but we'll I'll go with of course 
the man himself, Funky Kong, will use the poison apple cart as well as the strawberry donut. Alright, so I uh, just want to add this in. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have already saw my first episode of the holiday tour. Um, I'm trying to, you know, try to improve my, you know, my edits on the... I mean, the edits are not really that hard. I mean, I just literally record this gameplay straight from my phone. You know, my screen record feature, of course. And then I just uh, kind of export it. No, I mean, not really export it. I mean, I, I also edit uh, the videos through CapCut, which is also a an application through the App Store. So, yeah, not really the word for it, but yeah, I kind of import it, not really import it, maybe export, I'm not sure, but I just went to CapCut, the app that I used to edit, and then I uh, just picked the, the clips that I used to record these, uh, you know, these races. I mean, as you guys may know already, I maybe do one uh, recording part, uh, as I would say, per day, and usually it's going to be around four or five recording parts per episode. Except for the first ep first episode, of course. Uh, usually, the first episode I did for one only, uh, but I'm starting to do two uh, recordings per uh, you know for the first episodes, and usually for second and third episodes I do four to five recordings or so. Uh, but yeah, uh, I edit for, uh, through CapCut, and I'm trying to you know trying to make the most of it uh, within the you know the app feature. So hopefully, it's, uh, doing well. My videos are doing well. I mean. I, uh, for last episode, I just uh, started to you know kind of use some of those amazing transitions that you guys really really uh, you know kind of premium I would say, uh, but yeah there we go and yeah all for this race I've been talking all about that but yeah we're, here we go we got first place we got a green shell frenzy in the first lap and then we got a coin frenzy, uh, in the last lap so that's pretty amazing. We're also gonna get that first place finish, of course. Twenty-two thousand nine hundred fifty-nine points. Uh, that's a lot. Twenty-three k. I would just round it off to twenty-three k. Eight thousand two hundred points, five stars, seventy-three coins, twenty-two tokens. That's a lot of coins. And yeah, that's about it for my, you know, my stories on editing the videos. I really use CapCut only, and then I upload it straight from my phone to YouTube, and then I edit the description and stuff. But yeah, let's move on to snap a photo challenge in the Mario Cup right here. We're gonna be playing as Mario Santa, and uh, I think this is his set. I'm not really sure about the glider. The, the glider seems to be a set from the Los Angeles tour, but I think the metal, uh, not metal, uh, Mario Santa here, and the cart, which is the I think it's the cheer mellow, is his set, his signature set, I would say. Uh, how do I change character? Okay, so two or more drivers, a jump boost, and take a photo. So this is Merry Mountain RT, if you guys remember. So I'm gonna go with uh, Bowser Santa here. So we'll try to rally these other drivers. We have Yoshi Reindeer and Mario Santa. So I'm gonna try and get both of these characters into my picture. I'm not sure if that's actually gonna count because it's kind of too late, but we'll see at this part right here. Okay, so hopefully this picture works. Alright, it works, so thank god it's not too late, because sometimes when you uh, want to take a picture when they, they are tricking, sometimes it's too late. Even though you are, you kind of took the animation part of the trick, but sometimes it's considered as too late. But okay, there we go, we got all three stars, easy peasy right there, just go for maybe like the third or second, uh, you know, uh, formation, and you're good to go. And there we go, we are now done with the Mario Cup. Alright, so now we're gonna move on to the Baby Daisy Cup. I'm just gonna play Airship Fortress T right now so that I can use Cat Peach in the next day's uh, today's challenge. So let's go. DS Airship Fortress T. I have two King Bob Bombs right here. But of course, the obvious one to go with is, of course, the Golden Variant. We are also gonna go with the Off-Roader as well as the Cheap Cheap Masks Glider. Level 4, level 4, level 5. Some big uh, level items here that we're gonna use right now. Right, so we actually kind of passed the 2000 base, uh, or not base, I guess it was the, the perfect word for it is starting points for the race. So yeah, we're starting off this uh, race with a base point, or starting points of 2000, which is quite massive, I would say. Oh, I see Fire Bro with that uh, super horn. Oh, 
I was ready to lose the combo there, but apparently, I think thanks to the level 5 glider that I have, it was, it was able to be prolonged for quite a time. Oh my god, I just wrecked myself, but at least I wrecked some other AI as well. And now we're in 7th place, but I still have the combo running, that's at least one good thing. But we're gonna, of course, we can easily catch up to 1st place. And here we go, a rare item in our arsenal is going to be the blue shell. Ooh, we got a coin box, I'm just gonna use it right here, and we're also gonna take the bottom a route. And now we're in first, with two mushrooms. But of course these mushrooms will go away because I have auto item on. And usually when I play multiplayer, I will turn it off, so that I can either kinda still hold my bananas or my uh, protection item, so that the other Drivers. When you're playing multiplayer, of course, you are playing with real people, so they actually have more, you know, a strategy. So yeah, I, usually when I play multiplayer, just to you know complete the multiplayer challenge missions, I turn off auto items so that I can get a high score on that. Not a high score, I mean like first place or so. I mean, when you go into multiplayer, you don't really care about the scores. Bye bye Bowser Jr. and here we go. First place finish with a total score of 32,307. That's amazing. We passed the 30k mark for this course. That blue shell had no uh, chance to get us as it actually hits me after the line, but it's no big deal. We're gonna get a first place finish with an amazing score. I think I got a non stop combo. I really did not lose any combo throughout that race, right? And that's gonna be 13k or 13.4k for 5 stars, 64 coins, 11 tokens. And yep, uh, we're gonna claim a torch challenge, it'll be on the bottom left in the first uh, torch challenge sheet. Cause opponents to crash 100 times. Right, so I'm gonna go on and open up the Morton Cup here before I end this recording part. And let's open up our available tour gifts. There's going to be 300 coins, one normal driver level up ticket, I think. Uh, as, as well as 10 rubies. Lemmy, which is already maxed out, so that's 400 coins. Oh, the skill up ticket, sorry. As well as Bowser, who is also maxed out, so that's going to be 1,500 coins. Slowly getting back my coins that I used like in two tours ago. But that's going to be about it for this recording part. I'll see you guys tomorrow with Cat Peach on Rosalina's Ice World Tea. Alright guys, it's the 4th of December, today is day 4 of the tour, I just logged in for today and the game is now going to be announcing the next ranked cup and it's of course going to be the 3rd cup, I forgot what cup it is as always, but it's going to be the Luigi cup next week for the ranked cup and yeah, uh, I guess for my personal advice for you guys is just to you know kind of purposely go down the tiers in the ranked cups because in the next tour, we are going to be getting a a new super character that will be in the ranked, you know, ranked gifts. So be sure to, yeah, whatever you, you guys can do whatever you want to do, but I am definitely going to plan myself to go down the tiers so that I can easily go up in the tiers when uh, the next tour drops. But yeah, that's going to be the Luigi Cup next week if you guys would like to uh, get the high scores up in. But we're, we're going to jump into the today's challenge. Today is going to be Cat Peach on 3DS Rosalina's Ice World Tea in the Baby Daisy Cup for our 4th day of the tour here today. The game will give me the Poison Apple card as well as the Glitter Glider. And let's go, Cat Beach! Okay, someone's dashing, I'm gonna take advantage of that. I'm gonna purposely hit that penguin.
And there we go, coming into the second lap with a 50 plus combo. Gonna lose the combo here, definitely. Yep. That red shell though was a menace. It's Daisy who threw that at me, behind me. Screw you, Daisy. But we'll just have to move on. No use crying over school though. And that's going to be a first place finish with a total score of 17,714 points. And quite of a bummer, I did not get to, you know, get the Cat Bell item. But actually I have uh, Cat Toad in my roster, so I kind of forgot about him. But that's okay, 11,100 points for 5 stars, 41 coins, 11 tokens. Let's open up the TCP for day 4 here today. And it is going to be 1,000 coins. Okay, not bad. Slowly getting up my coins back. And that's gonna be another tour challenge done. Let's see what this is all about. It's gonna be the total points challenge at 300,000 points threshold, three rubies, and three card point boost tickets. All right, so now I'm gonna go on and check out what's gonna be the Coins of Plenty event for uh, today for me. And it's gonna be the Morton Cup. And apparently, the Morton Cup will actually uh, not be in our supposed episode here today. It's gonna be in the next episode, but I'm gonna be playing the Morton Cup right now just to get rid of this coin supplement event. So let's go into Rainbow Road R. Uh, we're gonna be using, I guess I'll just use Pauline with the coin box. And then we'll have the level 6 Blue 7 as well as the New Year's Kite. I hope there's a Blue 7. <laughs> I always confuse it with another card that looks the same. And I already forgot what's the other one. Uh, you know, the other card's name that. I'm referring to, but let's go. So the Morton Cup, I will be skipping it. Of course, we are going to be playing the Morton Cup right now. So I'm going to be leaving one cup supposedly in this episode, which is of course, I think it was the cup before uh, this Morton Cup. And then we're going to use that in next episode. Alright, we're going to get Peach Happy, I believe, with that back green throw. Ooh, King, Bo uh, King Boo with the coin box. Yep, I'm dead. I literally heard those, you know, that uh, Bowser shell sound effect behind me, and I was definitely gonna get hit there. Anyways, that part over there, kinda tricky to maintain combo if you ask me personally. Gonna have to do some snaking. Ooh, someone with another coin box. I think is this also King Boo? Oh, lost the combo again. Oh, that token came out a little bit too late. Dang it, my mini turbo did not come out. Oh my god, kind of a bad spot to get shocked. But it's okay, we are still in second place. Gonna catch up into this guy in first. And of course, I think that's Peach Vacation in first. And she stole my tokens that I was aiming for. This woman is going to die. <laughs> Lose the combo again, I really don't care about the combo at this point. Oh my god, that was a perfect uh, banana hit, but I'm gonna get my revenge instantly with that red shell. We use a ticket right there. Oh, but it was too late. My blue shell was a little bit too late, but at least I got maybe what? It was what? Five people all together with that blue shell. That's something nice I would like to say, but it's, it's not gonna be enough for, for first place, but I'll take that fifth place even though with that amazing blue shell hit. But it was kinda too late. 19,061 points, 10,000 points for 5 stars, 348 coins, and 11 tokens. Vanilla Lake 2T. 
Um, this time I'm gonna use Penguin Mario. I think last time I, I used Penguin Toad, so this time I'm gonna be using Penguin Mario. And we'll also use the Blue Turbo Yoshi... Blue Turbo Yoshi, I think? Is the name, the proper name of the cart, as well as the Gift Glider. Yeah, Blue Turbo Yoshi, you can actually guess it correctly. I mean, I was uh, kind of uh, not sure where the, you know, the name Yoshi uh, w was in, in the name of it. But we're going to start this race off with the Red Shell Frenzy. Poor Penguin Luigi there just got wrecked. And speaking of Penguin, next tour is the Penguin Tour. So, I think I already mentioned it uh, in one of the previous clips. I'm not sure if it's the previous, no, I mean like yesterday's uh, clip or it was in the first episode that we are currently going to be having the holiday celebration starting with this tour of course. And the next tour has already been revealed is going to be the Penguin Tour. And it's going to feature all the penguins of course and a new penguin variant which is going to be Penguin Toadette. So we're also going to be seeing Penguin Mario, Penguin Luigi and as well as Penguin Toad coming back very very soon. So yeah, if you guys are wanting to you know complete your penguin collection you can definitely save up your rubies for next tour and of course uh, the spotlights in this tour will also appear in next tour but i'm not sure if, if they're going to be appearing again as spotlights in the next tour but they are going to be appearing again next tour so anyways there's going to be 10,776 points 8,300 for five stars 321 coins two tokens Moving on to the Airship Fortress course, we are going to be using, of course, the King Bob Bomb Gold. Uh, let's use the Cheap Snorkel. And we're going to use the Pink Gold Paper Glider, or as I would like to dub it, the PGPG. Easily. I'm not sure we actually have a Pink Gold cart, right? I don't think so we have, but if we have it in the future, that's going to be a full set for Pink Gold Peach. Alright, starting this race off with a Coin Frenzy. Hey, that green shell actually hit Black Shy Guy. Right, got that uh, five uh, mini turbos. I mean, usually I, o I can only do four. That I think that's the kind of the average number of mini turbos that you can do at that part. But five is also a little bit nice. If, I mean, if you can kind of get the perfect window for it or something, the perfect you know timing of it, you can definitely get five easily. Okay, I was actually not expecting that multi mode to go down. I was, I was actually aiming to hit it. Uh, but yeah, as you guys saw, I did not hit it. But we're going to be getting a coin box frenzy, so thank god I actually kind of used the item box there to kind of recover myself from the red shell. Ooh, that token actually went a, a long way towards uh, inside the tower here. And this is going to be a non-stop combo race of 160. Alright, 27,495 points. We got a coin frenzy in the beginning and a coin box frenzy towards the end. And that's amazing. 8,600 points for 5 stars, 403 coins and 20 tokens. Or in usual case, it's going to be 103 coins because of the 300 you know, bonus coins I'm getting here. So it's going to be 400, that's a lot. And that's what, 1,000 coins alone from the Coins of Plenty event for this one. And let's of course finish off the Morton Cup with the Combo Attack Challenge Race with Baby Mario on 3DS Rainbow, not Rainbow, Rosalina's Ice World, sorry. Yeah, 3DS Rosalina's Ice World. I mean, usually when, and it, I mean, when I think of rainbows, I always think of Rosalina in this game. Because I mean, like you know, Re Rosalina is the, like a space character, a space themed character. So that's how I always kind of mistakenly uh, set Rosalina there. Okay, I kind of used that mushroom out of a panic. 
just in case if I did not, uh, you know, uh, get any of the coins there. I mean, we just played this uh, track like a few minutes ago, so I'm definitely gonna be, uh, you know, easily uh, go through this. Right, got the double box. I'm gonna get double mushrooms here. Oh, I actually missed uh, that ramp. I was actually trying to go for the strat that way uh, you go towards the sides and kind of go into the sides so you can get all the coins. But I apparently missed the ramp entirely. But it's okay, we're still gonna get that 52 combo streak. 21 for 3 stars and that's pretty much about it. Easy. That's double the requirement. So 8 coins as a bonus and there we go. We are done with the Morton Cup. So I'm gonna open up the tour gifts right now. I'm gonna collect those glider and cart uh, tickets. Of course, we have skill ups and point boosts. Let I'm gonna check out the shop real quick to see what's in my daily selects. I'm gonna get this uh, ticket, of course. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, we're back here today. It's the 5th of December today. It's Sunday and I just logged in for the uh, day and we have a new, of course, notification here is going to be the special pipe of the tour. This pipe is going to be the coin box pipe. So let's just straight jump into the shop and let's see what this pipe is all about. It's going to be the coin box pipe. I guess it's the name of the pipe. This pipe contains drivers with the coin box skill and starts with 50 things in it. It's a chance to get Kamek and King Boo Gold. Tap details to learn more. So of course this pipe will feature 5 uh, coin box characters, well technically say gold pipe because like literally 4 or 5 out of them are literally golden variant characters. But still, most of the gold characters are of course coin boxes. But yeah, let's see the details and let's see how many that you can actually get uh, when you actually empty the pipe for its entirety. And you can only get 3. So yeah, only 3 high ends in this pipe, 1.2% each. So uh, that's a total of 6% for the uh, high-end uh, coin box characters and you can only get three until you empty it out which means that you can only get three of the high ends in 50 pulls so i'm not really gonna i'm not definitely not going to be pulling this pipe because i literally have like a four of the coin box characters that are featured in this pipe i mean I, i'm only missing comic and i don't really i don't really care about comic at the moment but there we go, if you guys are looking for more coin box characters and if you're feeling lucky, you can definitely go on and uh, pull the pipe. Yep, right there, coin box pipe. It's gonna be running until this Friday. So, right now, without further ado, let's move on into the today's challenge. It's gonna be Baby Daisy on N64 Koopa Troopa Beach Tea in the Baby Daisy Cup. The game will also give me the Soda Jet cart, as well as I think this is the parachute. I mean, just simply. Oh, sorry, it's not the parachute, the parafoil, okay. My bad, but it's basically almost the same thing there. Ooh. Alright, that was a nice green shell hit, but I'm of course gonna run into someone else's green shell. But I worry that uh, Mushroom will definitely save myself. We've got a bubble, so quite unfortunate, but at least the bubble will still keep our combo going on, so that's something. Well, missed the box because of that, but it's no big deal. I can get another box right here. And here we go, a Mushroom Frenzy as we come into the second uh, lap right here. Oh, Diddy Kong has a banana cannon. Almost ran into his banana right there. I lost the combo because no one wanted to hit my banana but there we go a banana frenzy right after that of course the busha will hit me first not gonna make it uh, but still second place finish i mean when I said not gonna make it, I mean I'm not gonna make into first before Baby Mario Koala there uh, crosses the finish line. But it's okay, we still got second place which is still a good placement I would say. 
We got two frenzies in this race, which was a... What was the first frenzy? I already forgot. Uh, it was a mushroom frenzy, yeah, a mushroom frenzy, and then we got a banana frenzy, which is nice. 19,315 points, 7.8k for 5 stars, 30 coins, and 6 tokens. And now, for today's TCP, is gonna be 5 rubies, because it's day 5 of the tour, and of course, every 5 days, you're gonna be getting that rubies. Of course, it's only on day 5 and day 10, we do not have day 15. But let's move on into the glider challenge right here, it's gonna be Ice Bro in Vanilla Lake. And I think only Vanilla Lake 2, the new Vanilla Lake variant, is uh, present in this tour. Yep, it's definitely the Vanilla Lake 2 version. And apparently, we're gonna be seeing the Glider Challenge in its premiere for this course. Alright, so... Seems easy enough. Just avoid these uh, bomb barrels, as I like to call it. Taking us all the way out to oblivion. But that's gonna be 623. Uh, I did not really land on the coins there. Uh, but if I land on the coin, it would be a slightly more much of a uh, high score. But it's gonna be only 580 meters, I suppose, for that three stars. So it's okay if you do not even land on the coin set. Uh, but at least you uh, try to extend your gliding as much as possible. But that's gonna be the Baby Daisy Cup all done. Okay, now let's move on to the Comic Cup. We have Bowser's Castle 1 tick. We have Mario Hakama. It's been a while since I've used you, so I'm gonna be using you right now. We have the uh, Flame Flyer as well as the Gold Glider. And wow, level 5, level 7, level 7. Interesting. Looking forward to those big scores. But I think this Bowser's Castle is a little bit short. I think this is Bowser's Castle 1, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, it's been a while since this variant of Bowser's Castle appeared. Oh, I missed the final ramp, but I guess because of that I was able to actually hit uh, one of the AIs behind me with the red shell. Alright, second lap, we have a combo of 49 and counting, of course. And of course, these platforms will come down at this moment. Oh, I almost got crushed there. Oh, I messed that up very badly, but okay. I think the game just wanted to respawn me on top of this, uh, you know, construction thing. And here we have a coin box, the only coin box that I will ever get in this race. Ah, well I guess uh, I think uh, Ninja Shy Guy had mushrooms there, so I was not able going. I was definitely not gonna be able to beat him there. Oh, both Shy Guys are in top too. Okay, I did not notice that, but we're gonna be taking that third place finish. And don't worry, guys, I have like level five, level seven items, so getting high scores is definitely gonna be easy here. We got 19,529 points, 6.7k for 5 stars, 56 coins, and 16 tokens. And we have a tour challenge done. I think this is going to be the total points challenge. If not, yeah, it is. Okay, so 400,000 points threshold. That's going to be 2,000 coins and 3 driver point boost ticket. Moving on to Rainbow Road T. The obvious pink gold peach, level 6 right there. We're going to be using the Koopa Clown and the PGPG. PG. All right, Rainbow Road T. Kind of one of my favorite variants for the 3DS Rainbow Road. I mean, sometimes for this specific variant, sometimes you actually... Uh, I mean, if you are playing uh, maybe the, ver the regular variant or maybe the R variant, you can actually get a much higher score than T. I'm not sure why I did uh, got that in the past. I mean, uh, it's really weird. I, mean, I think maybe the trick variant is a little bit shorter because they kind of cut that very end of the, you know, the end part of this track. So that's why maybe uh, not really getting a high score for this specific variant. But okay, we are starting off with already two frenzies. We have the 
Red Shell Frenzy earlier, and now we are gonna come in with a Coin Box Frenzy. I would be sad if uh, my combo is gonna be, you know, taken away from me. But now we are coming into the final checkpoint. It's not the lap, I guess, for this course because there are not really laps. You are literally playing in one big, uh, you know, uh, go. So, oh my god, that red shell though. Right, as I was saying, it's not really, you know, you're not looping around the track. This is like literally one big track. So, I'm not gonna call that laps. I'm gonna call it checkpoints. So, still we're still going so good so far. No red shells coming at us. We have another coin box here. Oh, I missed those red shells, but not red shells, I mean red coins. They went too much towards the side, so I was not able to uh, make use of that. A little frame drop right there, unfortunately, but we're still doing fine. Second place as we come into the mushrooms part. That bomb went too far away. And we're gonna end this. Uh, race with another red shell friends although it's gonna be most of them is gonna be useless because I am already in first place so I'm just gonna throw these back and let's hope for some of them to actually hit but that's gonna be a 201 total combo streak and we are gonna be finishing this race with a non sub combo of 39,914 points and that's massive I mean like I said before I think I've reached 40k and above in I think it was our variant and yeah this kind of proves uh, my statement that in this trick variant of Rainbow Road 3DS, you you cannot simply get a much higher score than there are variant as I was talking about because it's kind of a little bit shorter than usual because they did cut off the final part there but that's still a very nice high score almost 40k flat right there but we'll take it 10,500 points for 5 stars 93 coins and 28 tokens we got two racial friends or racial frenzies and a coin box frenzy in the middle of which two of them were in the literally before the second checkpoint uh, but let's open up the tour gifts that I can open up right now it's gonna be those driver tickets point boost and skill up super respectively and we'll finish off the comic cup in tomorrow's Thursday challenge and yep I will see you then with Daisy holiday cheer on vanilla lake 2 and we're back here today for the day 6 of the tour, it is 6th of December today and let's just jump straight into the today's challenge, it's gonna be Daisy Holiday Cheer on SNES Vanilla Lake 2 in the Comic Cup. So this is gonna be the final recording part of episode 2 here of our walkthrough on the, uh, the holiday tour. So th this is gonna be a, a short recording because I think we have uh, two more races to go including this one. So let's uh, go. And I think this is our first time actually playing the, uh, what do you call it, the Prime or the the basic uh, Vanilla Lake 2. Because I think we first uh, saw the uh, the Trick variant, if I'm not mistaken. But here we go, a Banana Frenzy. Okay, I'm not sure if I actually have a Top Shelf Glider or Cart or anything. But let's see after this race, of course. But this is a good race so far. I literally front run that uh, race, and there we go, non stop combo 12,197 points. And it kind of feels like I do not have a top shelf cart because we all know that carts, if you have it in a top shelf, they will actually boost your score by double if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so actually, I have. I have a top shelf cart and glider. As you guys can see, that level 3 right there is actually glowed up, so it is. But that, there we go, 12,209 points, 7.3k for 5 stars, 41 coins, 12 tokens. And let's open up the TCP for our day 6 here today. And it's going to be the Waluigi Wing 105 level 5. Alright, so let's, I'm, I'm going to check out what characters I have. So I have uh, Hello Rosa as well as Mario Santa. Along those other characters that's in the top shelf, interesting to see. So I have uh, that card just now, which is the Snow Skimmer, as well as the Slay. And of course I do have the Glitter Glider only. I do not have a middle shelf uh, glider though for this course, but it's okay. Now let's move on into the Goomba Takedown. We have Luigi in one of the Mario Circuits. This, I think it's Mario Circuit 2 that exists in this tour. So let's go. Take down Goombas, we have a Fire Flower Box. 
right in front. Ah, oh, perfect. So that was actually really, really scary. You know, I mean, if you do not get, uh, if you do, if you do not get a hit right there, it's gonna be a little bit scary. But okay, so far so good. We have done both parts right there, where it has, where you have to actually do that. I'm just gonna do it at the very end. Okay, I missed one, but it's okay. Miss missing one is better than missing two. Gotta remember that, guys. I think I missed another one or two there, but it's no big deal. Should be fine. Is it gonna give us a star? Oh, it's a frenzy. Of I mean, obviously, it's gonna be a frenzy, right? It's a. It's literally colorful. So I was actually trying to go and, uh, you know, hit the Christmas tree there with the fireballs because I think I remember when I was uh, scrolling through the challenges, I saw a challenge that you have to hit the Christmas tree maybe t uh, 10 times, I think. But 35 Goombas is going to be the minimum for you to get 3 stars and I got 39 and I think I only missed out on 4 or 5 so quite close, quite close. Just gonna try our best to get all the Goombas and now we are done with the Comet Cup and I think that's all 4 cups done, right? And also gonna open up the Tour Gift that's gonna give us 10 Rubies, 300 Coins and the Bullet Train. Oh, sorry, not Bullet Train, Barrel Train. I, I was so confident on saying that name. Immediately, but yeah, that's the barrel train three or five level five. So as I was saying, uh, okay, so we've already done four cups: Mario, Baby Daisy, Kamek, as well as the Morton Cup. So we're gonna continue on our walk through for the next four to five days or so. We have I'm gonna open up the remaining cups as well: Metal Mario Cup, Wario Cup, as well as the Yoshi Cup. So there we go. All, we have all the cups unlocked, and I'm gonna go into the shop and let's see what we can. Uh, look at here daily selects a lot of these tickets. I'm gonna get these tickets real quick while we are at it All right, so That will be about it for this uh, episode guys. Thank you so much for watching I will see you guys next time in episode 3 where we will start off with the toad cup and finish off the tour from there and happy Mario Karting. Bye. Bye